Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer, and today we look at the new uh, X670E MSI motherboard, the Pro motherboard, and comparing that to the Intel platform, okay? Um, the Z690, okay? Um, just look at the price difference of having the different platforms. I think it'll be quite interesting to have a look at that. And also, as I said in a previous video, um, do not, um, I would not look at the new Intel Arc GPUs uh, until middle of 2023. Well, yeah, looks like I was correct on that. Um, so it looks like the whole uh, project is rumored to be, yeah, canceled. So they'll come out with Battle Mage next, and then that'll be it. Um, they just um, cannot compete um, and uh, keep up with the technology, basically, um, because of the drivers. The drivers are so far behind. Um, and to get that all working, it took AMD years and years and years uh, working on those drivers. Um, and it's just a very long process to get things working right. Like I said, I, I would have probably approached this differently, kept everything hush-hush you know, develop like a mid-range, just look at developing that, getting the drivers going, um, working on that in the background with the just, instead of going all in and dumping all the money in, um, I think that probably would have been the way to go. Then once it looked okay, it was going on the right track, then you could start, you know, the publicity on it. So, um, so yeah, so, um, yeah, all this cryptocurrency crashing, so um, demand for GPUs is now going down. There's going to be a whole lot of used GPUs, gra gaming graphics cards, uh, mining graphics cards on the market. Okay, because they're changing the way they crypto mine, uh, mine for Bitcoin, whatever. We're going to look at the difference between using an Intel platform and the new AMD platform. Okay, sit right back, have a cup of coffee, and we'll get into it. Well, if we have a look at the Intel system um, using the Z690 with DDR4, um, the RAM is going to cost 100 US for 32 gigabytes, um, and the motherboard, um, the Pro MSI uh, Wi-Fi, costs around 200 bucks. Okay. Um, and then if we compare that to AMD, um, the X670E with DDR5, um, that's around 200 US dollars for 32 gigabytes. And also um, the motherboard is, the Pro motherboard is at 290. All right. Um, so um, with the 12600K, you've got a 10 cores and 16 threads. So you've got six cores that are the performance cores, the fast gaming cores. Then you've got four um, cores that are efficient cores. They're smaller laptop cores with one thread each. Performance cores have two threads each. So that gives you a total of 16 threads. Okay. Um, and the uh, AMD is eight cores, 16 threads. Okay, that's the uh, 7700X. All right. So um, if we look at just adding up the RAM and the motherboard prices, there's a 48% uh, difference between the two platforms. Um, and if we look at um, adding in the CPU, um, we've got 12600K at 278 and the 7700X at 400. Okay, so the uh, total price is 578 for Intel and 890 for uh, AMD. And that uh, difference is a 42.5% difference at, and it's $312 difference. Okay, so um, at, at 1080p, um, you've got um, higher frames that are required. Okay, um, used quite a bit for multiplayer gaming. Um, but if you want to switch over to more of a, a single player gaming, or if you do single player gaming um, mostly, you might want to look at 4K. Well, 4K? Well, the cheapest 4K monitor, 31.5 inches, is a ViewSonic that I saw for 320 two dollars okay so um, right there you can put that money towards um, 
another uh, a newer monitor, higher technology. Um, if you want to do 1440p, move from 1080 to 1440p, uh, you could look at doing that. So what is the FPS difference going to be? Well, until all the uh, gear is out there and tested, uh, we won't have the exact numbers. But just to give you um, some rumored numbers, um, we've got Cinebench R23, which is like a stress test uh, for your CPU. Um, and it looks like the 7700X is about 14% faster than the 12600K on multi-core. Um, a single core difference is less than that. Um, so that's, um, will give you, give you a feel for the difference. Okay. Okay. So when you, um, uh, do 4K gaming, um, you get, you get a, a nicer image. Um, this ViewSonic is at 60 Hertz, so it's 60 frames per second. With the 4K ViewSonic type monitor, um, you're looking at 60 Hertz, so 60 frames per second is, is all you need. Uh, for that uh, platform in 4K. Um, so that's that's what I uh, currently do. Um, and I'm using the, the 3060 uh, 12 gigabyte um, and that uh, does quite well um, for it. Um, at 4K, um, what's the difference in FPS gonna be? Well, it's gonna be a, a, a much smaller difference than 1080p, okay? So with the 4K, Usually you see a lot of these CPUs all give the same frames, okay? They give the same frames per second. So um, we'll have to wait and see till it's released, but I just thought I'd, I'd um, throw that out there. If you are gonna wait and see what, what the testing brings, um, then you can keep this in mind. Well, if you'd like to see uh, some more videos on a wide range of technology subjects, um, including more motherboards, yep. Well, all you have to do is subscribe and you'll get notified when those videos are ready. And thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.